Coming Up Cajun, written and illustrated by Carrie Deluxe. In a land not too far from Old Vacherie, there lived two brothers named Leon and Shaoui. On an old family farm down Bayou Lafouche, they spent their days and carried out their youth. Like most Bayou boys, they just loved the outdoors and divided their time between playing and chores. Though they could give each other some mizat and sometimes be so canai, two closer of friends would be hard to come by. Here are just a few of the adventures shared by Leon and Shawi, the things they did and discovered in the average week. Hey Shawi, said Leon, should we go hunting today or make a fishing trip? On that particular Monday morning, Shawi replied, let's do both, but we can't forget about that corn we need to go pick. You see, they liked to shadow their papa in all that he did, learning the ways that their ancestors had lived. So Mardi, they planted a new crop of potatoes and then ate up all the etouffee their mama had placed on the table. Early Mercury morning, they picked some fresh eggs and then loaded buku bales of hay into the truck bed. Hey, Shawi, you want to go trapping tonight? Me, yes, yeah, says Shawi, before reminding his brother they needed to gather some reserve for their duck blinds. The best of Padnas and always side by side, from a Judy evening crawfish boil with the family to out just casting a line. From the green of the land to the blue of the bayous, they made the best of their time and the splendor of a southern youth. Whether in the garden or attending the livestock or out in the pirog in their favorite frogging spot, Vonardy was always a good day to enjoy these things that they loved most while living off the land on the Louisiana Gulf Coast. You see, in Cajun country, time is what you make of it, and Leon and Shelby surely knew how to close out a day well spent. Now, while they always had fun just being little boys, they took great pride in their work and the things that they had made sprout from the soil. This is why on Sandy they would sport their tiger apparel while relishing in the sauce piquant and potato salad made from the fruits of their labor. Just as on Dimanche they would be in their black and gold rooting for the home team while a nice warm gumbo filled their bowls. Working hard and playing harder in the sportsman's paradise, they stood up and cheered as shall we called out Hey Leon, that touchdown was so nice. They would look forward to the coming festivals where they were sure to make a pass and as it would just so happen they were making childhood memories that would surely last. They would two-step while there to some old swamp pop tune, then head on home to be greeted by their mama's fade de dough ringing about the room. No matter the day and no matter the time, their rich Cajun heritage was very much alive. They'd fall asleep each night with the hearts so grateful for the possibilities were endless and their blessings had been bountiful. They were blessed, you see, to have nature on their side and the strength of family, knowledge of their heritage, and hearts full of dreams. This is a formula for success no matter who you may be. It created an especially promising tomorrow for two brothers growing up in the heart of Cajun country. So look for them if you ever pass down the bayou because you just may see the spirit of a culture so loved by Leon and his little brother, shall we? The end. <laughs> You are listening to Confetti Park.